Welcome to the Progeny RX Medication Administration video series. My name is Hannah. I'm a nurse at VFP Pharmacy, a Progeny RX Pharmacy partner. This video will discuss the mixing and administration of Novorel medication for subcutaneous injection. Novorel is a room temperature medication. It should be injected shortly re after reconstitution, but it can be stored in the refrigerator for up to 30 days. Flip off the caps of the powder and the water for injection. Alcohol wipe the tops of each vial. Using a 3 ml syringe with generally a 22 gauge one and a half inch needle. Pull back the plunger to the prescribed amount, usually one ml. Place the needle through the center of the rubber stopper. Inject the air and then pull back the plunger to the 1 ml mark or the prescribed amount. You're then going to take that water, inject it into the powder, the Novorel powder medication. Inject the water slowly. It will dissolve almost instantly. A little swirl, but don't shake. Turn the vial upside down. and pull the needle down so the very tip of the needle stays within the liquid. It's a very small amount of liquid. You're going to be gently pulling down on the plunger while at the same time backing the needle out of the vial so that it stays in the liquid the whole time. You'll cap this needle and remove and attach a short half inch needle a prescribed size for your subcutaneous injection. Tap on the plunger to allow any bubbles to rise to the top and gently push on the plunger until you see a droplet form. You're now ready for your subcutaneous injection. For subcutaneous injections, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. The most common site is the abdomen using the left, right, or below the belly button staying approximately one to two inches away from the belly button. You can also use the back part of the upper arm or the outer aspect of the upper thigh. Alcohol wipe the area and allow to dry. The needle goes straight in at a 45 to 90 degree angle. Depress the plunger until it's all injected. Pull the needle straight out and use gauze or tissue if there's any bleeding. The Sharps container comes with a permanently sealable top. Open the lid. Without recapping the needle, dispose the cap and the needle into the Sharps container. You can close the lid, but do not seal it until it's full. If you have any further questions regarding your medications or protocols, please call your doctor's office or the pharmacy where you received your medications.